I was actually working an off-duty detail at uh, Destiny Worship Center in Freeport uh, right up the road and I saw a medical assist call come out where there was a, a male that was not conscious. He was turning blue. He wasn't breathing. I looked at the map and saw it was the closest unit and I knew that, you know, something needed to be done. Somebody needed to get there. So I went ahead and, and jumped the call. So I went ahead and, you know, grabbed my EMT bag and went to work. I need you to calm down for me, okay? Yeah, Listen, yeah. he's not in trouble if he took anything. I just need to know no, so I can help him, okay? Know. He did not look good. He was, his face was, was blue. He, they call it cyanosis. His, his lips around, all the way around his mouth was all cyanotic. He was barely breathing on his own, if at all. He hasn't taken anything? Pupils are pinpoint. Right now. Yeah, he's aspirating. Uh, and actually, at one point, he did stop breathing until I administered Narcan. So. Box drop four eight one. Can you log four megs Narcan push? When I administered my four milligrams, he actually did start breathing on his own, but it wasn't enough to uh, bring him back to consciousness and, and become alert. So when the medics got there, we got him into the ambulance and we breathed for him for a little bit just to give him, you know, 100% oxygen. And uh, they administered two more and uh, as they were pulling out of the parking lot, he actually was breathing and talking on his own and answering questions to the paramedic that was in the ambulance and they uh, transported him to Sacred Heart. Do you feel like you are a hero? Do you feel like you saved yourself? No. No. I mean, it, it just did what I've always wanted to do. and did what I was trained to do and what I know to do. What would you say to somebody that called you a hero for that? <laughs> it's just doing my job. You're not a hero for that. I mean, these, these guys that work the ambulance every day, they, they do it every day. I mean, they, they, they make a direct difference in people's lives. It's just, I guess, different for a, for a deputy to do it. Seconds are precious whenever there's a medical emergency. And, you know, if, if more deputies had this training or every deputy had this level of training with the, the equipment that we're provided, I'd, I mean, I, I can't really even describe how much of a difference it can make. It's not often that you really get to feel like hard work pays off. Um, sometimes in this career, you, you often get a lot of people that are angry with you and stuff like that. They, you know, and in a situation like this, you, you made a direct difference um, in, in someone's life and on top of that, a, an entire family's.